Hey y'all, this is Kim with Creative Escapades, and I have this final record that I have done a resin pour on, and I want to add some clockworks to it. Um, I did not video the original pour when I did the resin, but I'll tell you about it. <laughs> so I started off with the record by spray painting it with gold, and then I come back with color art. Um, Galaxy Diamond pigments in uh, salted caramel, pomegranate, and purple galaxy. And it just really turned out great. You can see the little sparkles in the resin itself. And so I just think it's going to make a gorgeous clock. First thing I got to do is remove this center piece of tape that I rolled up and put into the hole and then I also remembered to tape this one so yay me <laughs> that should be a whole lot easier than trying to get uh, resin drippings off of it without the tape so we'll just start by heating this up on both sides here in the center not too much because we don't want to warp it and I'm just going to give it a little twist and out it comes just like that now there's a little bit of a lip of resin around the hole so I'm just taking my exacto knife and just cutting around there it comes right off peels right out and no problems so I'm going to do it on both sides because there's a little bit back here and I'm angling my exacto knife just a little bit so it catches the edge of that that's hanging over the outside of the hole because I want to make sure that my uh, clock mechanism is flush against the back of the record. I'm just going to trim out a little bit more here. Make sure that there's no more in there. And then I also want to make sure that I clean up all these little pieces so that it does not mar the finish of my resin. So now we have this clock works that I got from Hobby Lobby and I'm gonna wipe everything off here. I have fingerprints on it. And you just take the little um, hanger and you hang it over the clock mechanism and then you put the rubber washer onto the shaft as well. Now I could not get the shaft to go through so I just needed to trim a little bit more out of the hole and I did that with my X-Acto knife. So now on the front side you take the little metal washer and you put that on top and take the hex nut and then tighten it down over that to secure the mechanism to the record. And then you have to put the um, hands on and these hands actually did not come with this particular uh, clock mechanism so I had to really get in there and see which way they went um, because it's oblong there in the center where the hands fit down on it and you have to make sure that it's just right so put the um, hour hand on and the minute hand on and then this little worrisome little nut that tightens it on there is so tiny but I eventually got it on there as you see and then you just press the second hand down into the uh, little hole and um, it just sits there you add the battery and there she goes she's all ready I think this is going to be gorgeous anywhere it hangs. Um, I do not want to put any numbers on it just because I think it looks great just like it is. And in my excitement to show you how to get the the clock mechanism hooked up onto this, I forgot to show you how to do the tape on the back. So we will do that right now. I'm still admiring the clock. I think it looks great. 
It's really very simple. You just have to heat the tape up and once you heat it up a little bit, it will just peel right away from the back of the record. Actually, it will peel right away from any substrate that you're working on. Once you get it going, it's almost not necessary to heat it up anymore because it will just go right on coming right off of there. So this one little area where um, I actually had my bottle cap that I used to prop my uh, work on had went too far to over the edge of the tape. And all I did was heated that up and then used my X-Acto knife to remove any of the resin that was sticking up. I am now going around the edges because there's a couple little places where there's a little bit of tape right at the edge and it comes right off. And there you go. So if you've enjoyed this video, please click like and share. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so now and ring that bell. You'll never know how much I appreciate each and every one of you that subscribe, that like, and share my channel or comment or, or make suggestions. It means the world to me. And I want to thank you for that. And I want to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in my next Creative Esk page. Bye-bye for now.